Okay, guys, I'm going to talk you through this worksheet for finding your buzzword. Um, so first thing you're going to do is you're just going to click here. It's going to take you to a list of bu buzzwords that you can pick from. Um, you guys have kind of done this before, so put your name in a box. Once all those boxes are full, that buzzword is obviously taken. Um, so whichever one you want to choose, then you're going to list your buzzword here. So type it up again. Um, so this first thing is you're looking for two website URLs. So you're going to link in two websites here that are literally talking about the reality of this production practice. So this is where you're looking for websites that are literally saying this is really what this buzzword means. Um, so I linked in or I put in here USDA is a great resource for that. Um, the USDA is the United States Department of Agriculture. Um, so I personally think they have some great resources in there. Um, so again, these are when I click these two links, they should be speaking about the reality of this buzzword and really what the buzzword means as far as production practices. Um, this next one is you're going to provide two website U URLs that are encouraging people to purchase this production specifically. So this is for more like the people who are saying like, oh, this is the best way to go because of blah, blah, blah. So this is kind of like the opposite of those first URLs. So this is like the people who are saying grass-fed beef are better because of blah, 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 blah. Okay. And then the next one is describe what your buzzword literally means as far as production practice. So this one, you're going to have to use these first couple. Most of these buzzwords, I want to tell you, I know what they literally mean. Um, so I'm going to really be looking at this to make sure you have an understanding of what that buzzword means as far as production. Okay. And then the last one is describe what consumers think that it means. So when we're talking about consumers, we kind of talked about this. They read that specific um, term on the packaging and what they think it is might not be really what it means. So and that's a marketing ploy. Like that's the marketing people being like, how can we encourage people to buy this without really changing our production? Right. Um, so I will link in this video. So there'll be links here eventually. Um, and then also I'm going to link in an example for you guys. So hopefully this helps.